Hi everybody, here I am at uh, Adriatica Village, where my condo is, and uh, decided to hook up Starlink to the top of my car. I've had great success with it on the boat, but I want to see what it can do on a faster mobile environment. Um, I'm not going to uh, text and drive or anything like that, but what I'm going to do to test the service availability is I'm going to just leave Spotify running um, on Wi-Fi only and see if I get disconnected while I'm driving to uh, a barbecue place to get some uh, barbecue ribeye. So there it is. It's hooked up on the top of my car. Um, it's somewhere where the trees are blocking it, the signal right now. But uh, when we get on the highway, it should be fine. And uh, there's lots of birds above me. You can probably hear them. So anyway, we'll be back to Starlink you. Starlink worked perfectly on our way to our destination, which is the Hard Eight Barbecue. I'll have more on that later. Well, we're back from our test. We drove all the way to Hard Eight Barbecue. It's about uh, 25 minutes from here on the expressway. We're doing 70 plus 70, 75 miles an hour. I think that's what the speed limit was and uh, worked flawlessly. Uh, never got disconnected, had Spotify playing all the way during that drive. I even called my buddy Steve uh, to chat with him. And uh, the only time we got disconnected was when I went through the underpass. And I was able to take a quick uh, speed test while we we're there. I just left the Starlink app open on the speed test page and pressed run or start. And I uh, was able to get that and I'll post that as well. It was a great test and uh, again, even despite the speed that we were traveling, never lost uh, connection until we went under the, went below the underpass uh, to Yui and come back. Okay, to try Starlink um, in my car today, this is what I used. So at the very top of the uh, video is the Starlink. That's the standard um, satellite antenna dish. That's not the high performance one. Um, it's $600 for the whole system versus if you get the high performance unit, it's about $2,500. So um, depending on what you need, you may want to get one or the other, but for my needs and probably for most people's needs, uh, that standard dish is going to be sufficient. On the lower left-hand corner of the video is the EcoFlow um, generator. It's actually a, a big battery that stores energy and has an inverter in it so you can run um, an AC unit on there. Um, I'll post the specs. It's I think it's 2400 watts maybe or 1800. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it's got a whole bunch of uh, electronic plugs on one side and it's got USB-A and USB-C ports um, on the other. Uh, it charges up pretty quickly too. Uh, from 50% uh, I can get back up to 100 I think in about a half hour. And then on the lower right corner, that white horizontal box is the Starlink router. And then next to that is the power adapter. And behind that is, are the, uh, is the ethernet cable that connects the satellite dish to the router. So fairly simple setup, very easy. Uh, the satellite dish has four sea sucker suction cups. That's what I use to attach it to the roof of my car. It's also what I use to attach to the top of the uh, cockpit, uh, right on the roof of the cockpit. Um, so that's basically it, simple system, um, works great. Like I said, it's supposed to not work past uh, 10 knots and it's not supposed to work 10 nautical miles from shore. Um, I've only been about 11 miles offshore, so it still worked. Um, but at some point and at some speed, you'll get cut off um, unless you have um, priority data turned on. It's very simple, you just toggle that on in the app and uh, you go from unlimited data to two gigabit or two dollars per gigabit of data. Now most people will just turn that on on an as needed basis. And like I said, I've never actually had to turn it on. Uh, the standard service, standard priority with the standard dish, unlimited data is more than sufficient for, for what I need. Just want to add a little bit more on this EcoFlow 
uh, Delta Pro G generator. Like I said, it's a battery powered unit, uh, so I can get power wherever I happen to be, whether you know at home if there's a power outage or on the road, I can bring it with me at a campsite, uh, on a hunting camp or anything like that. But really, what it normally does each and every day and my normal everyday use for it is it's actually under my computer. Uh, my computer is connected to an uninterruptible power supply, uh, and then that uninterruptible power supply is connected to this, to the EcoFlow. So the OOPS, uninterruptible power supply, has about 10 minutes of power in case of an outage or a strike or anything like that. Um, so if power goes out uh, or there's a surge, the OOPS will take care of it first, and then um, the EcoFlow takes over after that. Also connected to the EcoFlow are my monitors, and more importantly, our um, residential um, wireless internet uh, is connected to that as well. So if there's a power outage, uh, my computer will work, uh, my internet service will work because I've got the residential wireless internet from T-Mobile, uh, and I'll be able to keep working um, during business hours and see my screens flash green and red all day and news scroll. So uh, actually my setup here is actually better than the setup at the office. So that's it. My entire system for travel and for home.